reciprocal inhibition technique yes this technique we use it in muscle energy technique for improving range of motion for joints in which certain muscles are stiff so basically on what concept this technique is working what is the physiology behind this that we will learn from this video basically it is a general phenomena in which stretch or contraction of one side of the muscle inhibits the activation or contraction of the opposite side of muscle let's say for an example when i am performing this 90 degree of elbow flexion there are both the muscles which is your biceps and triceps active now if i just try to contract tricep muscle by providing resistance what will happen automatically the bicep muscle has to get relaxed because of the physiology behind it and that is what we are going to understand in this video this principle basically originates from the neural connections with the spinal cords where it is releasing inhibitory transmitter substances which is known as antagonist reflex the efferent of muscle spindle bifurcates in two branches when they are meeting the spinal cord one branch goes and connects with the alpha motor neuron of the homonymous muscle which is getting contracted so it induces a contraction of the muscle fiber and another branch goes and attaches with the opposite group of muscle where the inhibitory activity is initiated and because of which when the one muscle is getting contracted opposite muscle automatically gets relaxed and we can easily perform the movement of that particular contracted muscle let me explain you again with an example let's say that one fiber one now is supplied to the tricep muscle one is supplied to the bicep muscle one branch is supplied to the bicep muscle so when i, I am resisting the tricep muscle activity what is happening the tricep muscle is getting contracted and because of that the another fiber another branch of that same neuron will come and connect with the bicep muscle which will send it to the inhibitory effect or inhibitory response and because of which the inhibitory reflex is generated and this muscle automatically goes for release so this is what entirely happens in the reciprocal inhibition technique when you are applying it in the mt muscle energy technique apart from this if you have any doubts about the physiology behind this or muscle energy technique you can just watch my other videos which i have already made for the muscle energy technique and also you can put your questions in the comment section most importantly don't forget to subscribe physio trends if you want to watch more and more videos like this